Welcome back to Miss Stewart's Crochet Club. Today we are going to be working on this really handy dishcloth. Um, it's made of cotton yarn using a size five millimeter crochet hook. Um, and it's this is called the linen stitch, sometimes also called the moss stitch. And it's a very common stitch, quick and easy, really works up fast. Um, if you look really close, um, the Stitches kind of make a nice smooth surface. If you were to run your hand over it, it feels like one solid piece of fabric. Start with a chain of 40. So make a slip knot, insert your hook, and the chain is yarn over, pull through. One, yarn over, pull through. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going until you get all the way up to 40. I'm oh, sorry, I have a long chain of 40 and we're going to go in, take your crochet hook. Don't go into the stitch here. You're gonna go into the second from the hook with a single crochet. There we go. We're going to go in with a single crochet into the first stitch, pull through. Now you're going to chain one and we're gonna skip the next stitch and go into the following one with a single crochet. Okay, we're gonna again chain one Skip one, single crochet into the next stitch. So we're skipping one, single crochet, chain one. Skip one, single crochet into the next. Okay, chain one, skip one, single crochet into the very next one. We're going to be repeating this pattern, chain one, skip one, single crochet, all the way to the very end. Okay, so I'm at my very last stitch, so I've, I've done the um, single crochet here, chain one, and there should be one space to skip and one more space to chain into, or sorry, to single crochet into. So at the end of every row, we're gonna do a turning chain. It's just gonna be a chain one. We're going to turn our work. So watch how we turn our work, turn it. Okay, I just, I don't turn my hook, I just turn the work. And I'm gonna look and see my stitches. Now it's a little bit tricky on the first round because the, the first one kind of pulls up Sorry, the stitches kind of pull up on the first foundation chain. Um, we're gonna try to ignore that. We're going to be working into the space that we created with the chain ones on the previous round. So right here, right after we've done our um, chain one, we're going to go in and we're going to do a single crochet in the space, not in the stitch, right in the space. Okay, there's one single crochet and then you're gonna chain one. We're gonna look for the next space. It can be a little tricky. It's not right there. It's not right there. It's in between here. Single crochet, chain one. Okay, looking again. So it's not in this stitch. It's between these two. That's where we're gonna go in. Single crochet, chain one. Next space. Single crochet, chain one. I'm gonna unravel some more of my yarn here. Okay, so looking for the next space, it's not this stitch here, it's between these two stitches. Insert, single crochet, chain one. Next, let's continue. Chain one. Single crochet into that space, chain one. Single crochet into that space, chain one, and continue thusly. OK, 
Okay, so I've made it to the last visible space here. Um, so I did my single crochet. I'm going to chain one. And now the first, um, going into the chain of the first row, it can be a little bit tricky to find that stitch. Um, if you're gonna rotate, if you could rotate just a little bit, you can see that there is the, 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 stair, the sorry, there is the chain that we skipped in the starting round. So remember we went to the second one. We're gonna insert our hook as best as we can under that V. And we're going to do a single crochet. So we're ending the row with a single crochet. Now we're gonna turn our work, uh, chain one first, don't forget that. Turn your work, so again, I'm not turning my hook, I'm just turning the work. And we're gonna continue as we were. And this is a little bit easier to see now. So now I can see the Vs, these two Vs. I can clearly see them, and I know that I need to go between those two spaces. So we're just gonna continue as we were, doing single crochet, chain one, and in between each little cluster of Vs, that's where we're gonna be placing our stitches. So here we go. We're gonna do the first one, single crochet, chain one. Look for the next cluster of Vs. We're gonna be, not cluster, I don't know what to say it. The next pair of Vs, we're gonna go between those pairs of Vs. We're going to single crochet, chain one. The next one, remember we're not going into any particular stitch, we're just going into the space. Single crochet, chain one. Looking for my space, which is right there. Single crochet, chain one. My next space is here. Single crochet, chain one. This next space, single crochet, chain one. And keep going all the way down, same pattern. Don't forget the chain one, it's very essential to this pattern. See, here is my last um, of the spaces that I'm going to go into. Single crochet. Now I'm going to chain one again. So I did my single crochet, chain one, and then I'm going to do a single crochet into the very last stitch. There we go. Now here we are at the end again. It's looking good already. Here, we're gonna go chain one from our turning chain, turn your work, and look for the Vs again. So the two pairs of Vs, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to do a single crochet between these two Vs. Single crochet, chain one. Next one, single crochet, chain one. Single crochet, Chain one, keep going all the way down until you reach the very end. Okay, so I'm reaching the end. I just thought I would join you for the last few stitches. Chain one, single crochet. This is my last space to go into. I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to single crochet into this final stitch at the end. A little bit hard to see, but again, if you rotate your work a little bit, you'll see that there's a V there. So we're gonna chain or single crochet into that, chain one, and then you're just gonna continue this one, one row repeating all the way until you get to the size that you want. Um, I made mine a square. Here's my square, it's beautiful. It feels really good, like this is a really good washcloth. It's bumpy, It's but it's still flat. Um, how I make mine a square, um, I don't use actual dimensions and measurements, I just take my corners, and as best as I can, I get my corners, my edges to line up. They're lined up as best as I could, and now I know that it is a perfect-ish square. Um, so what I really love to do is continue this series. We're going to do a series of dishcloths um, just to learn some patterns and learn some motifs, learn some techniques and stitches that you could use in other projects, or you could just make a really nice set of dish towels or dishcloths to give to friends and family or have for your own house. I'd really love if you'd follow along. We're going to go through lots of different kinds of stitches and make just like so many 
dishcloths, your house is going to be sparkling clean. But